Y'all know how I feel about organized religion. Y'all know how I feel about organizations. Most of them have been infiltrated by people that don't mean you any good. Whatever your ob- um, whatever your focus or goal or object uh, is. Okay? So, when I hear stories of abuse of children and it comes under the traumatic experience of religion... Oh, it sets me off. It sets me off, y'all. It just really does. So let me share this story with you, please. And let me know what you think about it. Let's talk about this. We knew something was going on. We just couldn't prove it. And this was the prosecutor's shocking confession as it's revealed that the rabbi charged with graping adoptive sons was arrested for attacking another child in 2019 but he was released at that time on bond <sighs> Naeem Cohen was charged with indecency in 2019 but was released he was allowed to go home on bond where he continued to abuse six of his sons. Cohen, now 38, is in custody. One of his sons called a podcast seeking help. Okay, this rabbi that's accused of adop- uh, raping his, raping his adoptive sons um, was arrested in 2019. And so he's also accused of faking his Jewish heritage, heritage and also faking chronic illness. Cohen was taken into custody after one of his adopted sons, 18, called a podcast begging for help. Since then, two other boys have told police that he did them too. I don't believe y'all heard me. This is why I don't like um, organized religion. And more than not, this stuff has happened. This happens all the time. I mean, and most of us are desensitized to it. In fact, we don't even care about it. Okay, it's not the first time, see, this guy has been arrested, like I said, for attacking a child. In 2019, a Spanish exchange student who was living in his home told police that he attacked him too. Why is his behind able to continue to do this over and over and over again? If you really cared about children. He was charged with sexual indecency but was granted bond and was allowed home to the nine boys who now say he abused them. My God, my God, my God. He's been held in custody and he has yet to uh, respond to the accusations all these young boys so he is not really Jewish and they got their little yarmulkes on and everything and so it's a whole operation fraud when in trouble Cohen would tell the boy that he needed to make him happy he would touch Cohen's chest and stomach area and notice him to get aroused while making such noises. He explained that Cohen wanted him to get an erection, but he would not be turned on. He would ask for a hug so he could put his hands on him. He stated it happened in Cohen's bedroom 
and they were both in bed. He stated that he would touch him and he would ask him then, did he like it? This monster grabbed his hand and placed it on his private parts. He explained that he began to um, do the unthinkable as a defendant as uh, to as he began to do the unthinkable, the defendant, and that is, happened while everyone was asleep. And that's what a charging a document from 2019 says. This is so pathetic. Cohen was arrested and charged, but not and but was released from bond and allowed to return home on bond where he then allegedly continued to abuse his boys i'm done i am so done this is just disgusting He adopted all of these boys so he could sodomize them. Uh, disgusting. CPS hasn't responded to the inquiries either regarding the family. And, you know, this happened in Texas, and it, it, it could be any city USA. Our children are not protected. They're, they're prey for wickedness and some evil-minded, disgusting human being. A being, I should say, that's not quite human. Anyway, I want to know what y'all think about that. Have you heard the story? If you haven't, check it out. Because I, I can't even um, go into it anymore. But those of y'all who definitely have been traumatized by a clergyman or a deacon or pastor or missionary or you know, assistant pastor. Y'all know this is real. All right, leave your comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.